Okay, let's wait game. Ori by rel combo is pretty rough for failures to deal with. Uh, but I have a time can Shu can eat me when they try to do that. I gotta try always position close to him or he's gotta try to position close to me. Uh, lane phase, they will be taking prior if Saya plays level 1 well, same for Rel. But I can look for poke since I have range advantage. Okay, so if they don't start in lane and leash, I can actually take prior, which I'll do gladly. Thanks for the follows. Well, I mean... That's a bit weird. They both don't have flashes. I'll just play for level 2 safely. Drop some CS. And Zai should die here. No, but why are you flashing to steal the kill? I mean, I have this 100%. Okay. I need to push this out first. Okay, my template is really well. Okay, actually, I prefer buying dagger this and refillable potion just because it's more gold value here. I left slightly less AD, but my combat sets are almost the same with a bit more attack speed, and I'll get a refillable potion. Now, with slow pushing into me, I don't have some, so I gotta be really careful about getting uh, getting dove. But I don't think Vi will be this crazy to just try and dive on this wave. I'll also get a ward down. Can't really walk up to the wave right now because uh, Rel is bot and my time is roaming mid. We got Ori's flash, but I'll drop some minions for it, which is okay. Getting mid ahead will eventually get me ahead as well. The thing is, I'd like to thin the wave right now, but it will be hard with Rel's pressure. She has hex flash and she's gonna try. Yeah, like that. I'll just poke out Zaya a bit with my flash damage weapon over minions. Okay, since this game enemy has like mid range, not high range, I wanna be going the. I wanna be burning blue first before purple to get. Wait, I can I enter it? My what? I wanna be burning blue first. I'll show later in the weapon rotation why. I can't hit her. We got some good poke on them and we can look to death, I think. Yeah. Okay, I burn blue first just like I wanted to. Means it will come up together with green and then I have like blue and green later. And blue and green is nice versus mid range because I can play long range splash damage and still like hit a lot. So pushing back into us, we can still look on them. They don't have flashes for 30 seconds. If you try to time flash timers, make sure you look at enemy enemy secondary runes because they can have flash cooldown, which Saya doesn't. Her flash will be up though, so we can't really punish that well. Maybe we can burn our flash on this on this wave. I want to thin this out a little bit. I can't really walk up to the cannon. Uh, well, it's just. Yeah, there we go, that's a flash, that's both the flashes, and the wave is still frozen if we don't hit it, so let's not hit it. Actually, it's not frozen, because we pulled the minions. Oh, fuck, okay, I tried to clear the ward, but I didn't know it would focus the minions. Anyway, we can sack now and look for a dive, they both don't have flashes. I'll just wait until my Lee is done with the blue buff and slowly sack the wave, meanwhile. I want to time it so Lee is dead at the same time, and I also want to look to poke them out here, if possible. Anyway, buy is there, so I'll push now so we can move. We should be winning out in this. Okay, enemy, like enemy bots game is completely over. She's recalling somewhere here as well, so I'll walk up to try and cancel it. Okay, I proxy that wave to make sure the next one is already crashing. Gives me longer time to hit the tower. And also to stone them off.
Okay, I see her on the ward now that I placed, so I can make sure she can't walk up here. Yeah, and we keep denying her minions. She's already 20 CS behind. She's a level behind. And my time is kind of running it down. So right now I gotta leave. I just push out this wave. Okay. I mean, I can't help him. He just he just ran it there. I know my tempo's fucked as well, which kind of sucks. I sell my refillable and then I get boots as well, so I get back to lane fast and I don't lose that much. Enemy 100% based. I don't think they're sitting in this bush. Yeah, I see them come back to lane. I really don't want to give my shot down, so I gotta play a bit safe. Okay, Rel is mid, no one can be close to me. Uh, actually, Vi can be close to me, I'm a peg. Okay, that was close, I guess. I thought I saw Vi, but I didn't, so that's... Really my bad. I almost outplayed it, but I ended up giving a shutdown. Since my Silas uh, TP bot and my Talia is mid, I'll just go top to defend it right now. She's TPing. Ooh, that's like a triple for win. Okay, I guess it survived. Well, can be topped soon, so I want to respect a bit. Okay, it looks like Rel is not close. Don't let her go, don't let her go. Don't let her go! Thanks for the follows. Yeah, and this was the weapon rotation I was talking about, right? This is like long range splash damage, so it's really fucking good. Anyway, right now, Saya can't really re-enter the lane, so I want to deny as many minions as possible. But I also want to make sure that I get the last plating, which will run out at 40, uh, 14. So right now, I'll just deny the minions and then last it before 14 minutes. And then I'll already push the next wave. And I can best with 3k. And I almost got my full AE. Zvain is becoming an issue. She's getting really, really, really fat. But uh, my champion is pretty good versus Zvain, so it should be okay. And yeah, now I gotta burn green again. So I end up on purple and blue. Yeah, I tried predicting her a little bit. I also fail. I want my time to be close to me so he can eat me out of any situation. Like, why can uh, Q over the wall and ult me? And I wanna avoid that, obviously. So this way I can see the tower. She missed her E. Oh, well that's bad. Oh. oh, well the failure skill priority is a little bit of preference, but what I like doing is uh, putting. Two points in Q, then maxing W, and then maxing E, which I kind of autopiloted this game. But that's usually my preferred rotation. I think I can take the tower now. Nice. At least take the Herald, he doesn't need me to take it. I'll just be farming in the meantime. Don't think enemy will contest. Actually, they're going for contest. Oh. Yeah, okay. I'm not too strong right now, so I really want to just rotate my weapons. And not first any fights. The best team fighting weapons are white green and then into like green blue. That's what I want to get. This is good for like 1v1s, red and uh, white, but uh, the other ones are better for team fights. So yeah, I really want to get rid of red here before I take a fight. 
Okay, enemy isn't building any armor, so I'll just be going Bloodthirst of that, it's most damage. Enemy is basing too, Drake is up in 2 minutes, same for Nasha. They saw me base sadly, but that's okay. They will be off tempo after this wave because they still have to base. And if they don't base, well, then I have a weapon, an item advantage on them. Yeah, it seems like they're not basing. Okay, enemies are on side lanes right now, so we can take this wave up high. I'll take it semi high. I really want to get the smith wave high now. So we get full control over the over the drake area. We can honestly also go for Baron because this drake is really irrelevant in this game, honestly. Like the soul doesn't really matter for us. And they really can't get the soul. So it doesn't really matter to me if we give like one drake. So honestly I'd prefer controlling the Nash, but since my team is already full bot side set up, might as well just take the bot side. Ah. Shouldn't mess that. Hello, hello, hello. Okay. Okay. No, oh my god, I couldn't get the auto off on Ori that would have killed her. Okay, my Lee Hart smurfed the door. Oh. Tom Kench! Okay, dude, he auto attacked the red buff twice. I need to wait for Tom Kench ult. Okay, the Leeson killed the van. Pretty sick. Hello, guys. Why you? I don't know, we're farming like one camp on bot instead of just playing the game normal. This time Genshin is solo killing enemy by, that's crazy. Like he's actually winning this. Yeah, she said. Okay, time Genshin is a balanced champion. I think we can just snatch now, we can just literally snatch. Like enemy jungler is dead. I don't see why we shouldn't be able to. I want to get better weapons for it though. I'll burn those fast. They can't contest really, and if they try, they will lose. I'll one shot this guy. I've... Okay, I'm perma stunned. Hmm. Okay, I was really greedy to take a fight there because I had max chakrams with my ult and double red Q. So I ran into the Ori, Ori ult, one shotting me basically. But yeah. Fight turned out fine anyway. If they use everything on me, they'll lose the fight after because my mid and jungle are really, really fat. I don't really think I need to go LDR. So... I would just be going shield ball. Makes me survive versus both damage types easier. And also provides me with really good stats. Okay, I will slow push this so I make it sync with the mid wave. So we have two lanes pressuring at the same time. Oh. Okay, honestly, I fucking misplayed that, but it's okay. At least I traded one for one. Like I got my, I got myself into a position where she could pin me into the wall. I would never lose if, um, if I don't get pinned into the wall there. That's fine. That's a warm up. Happens. Thanks for the follows. Anyway, our Nash is running out soon, so we can't really go siege against Ori. Um, Drake is coming up in one minute, so that's the next thing we'll be playing for. I'll just pick up farm while my team is basing anyway. And that's how you keep up good CS numbers or decent CS numbers. I died like five times, so my CS is not 10 CS per minute. I could have had more, I could have had more if I died less. Farming in times where, like farming in downtime basically is where you get a lot of CS. Like right now I have nothing to do, midwave is pushed out, my team just came out of base. And this man should not be allowed to clear this. Yeah, you are actually winning that, you fucking clown. Come on. Anyways, uh, we can just end now. There's no way they stop us. I'll just go and finish the game.
Okay. That's... What do you max with the fellas? I, I explained it before. Uh, two points Q, then W max, then E max is most value in my opinion. Uh, Q for laning phase lasted. Um, lethality has more value than AD later on in the game. And um, attack speed is just really fucking good on this build because you basically don't build any uh, attack speed. You have Kraken Slayer and uh, boots, I guess. That's the only thing.